Welcome on in, everybody, and today we are talking about the beautiful Blonde Naso Tank. First things first, the care level. I'm going to place this in the intermediate category. It is a pretty easy fish to take care of and a pretty hardy one at that. But with tangs, you're going to get the, the ick disease. They are more prone to them as well and other diseases in the hobby. So you want to keep an eye on that. Make sure you're giving them the right nutrition, the right water parameters, and etc. Price tag for a small, you're going to be looking at around $100 and above. This guy right here that you're going to see, we like to call Thunder Lips. Thunder Lips is here in the flesh, baby. Is going to be couple hundred dollars easily and they do get up to a big size as a matter of fact max size blonde naso tanks get at most 18 inches so you're talking about a big big fish when it's all said and done tank size i'm looking at a minimum 150 gallon tank you want at least six feet long it loves plenty of swim room left to right front to back it needs that swim room they love to be open swimmers so make sure you have good flow in your tank but you also have the proper caves and archways for them just to kind of get away have their spot their territories something to note about the tank size now again i recommended 150 gallons but i will say that 150 gallons you want to make sure you have a lot of negative space for that blonde naso tank with it being 18 inches it's going to be needing a lot of swim space it is considered to be an open swimmer fish so if you want to have heavier rock, I would then recommend at least a 180 gallon tank. Again, it's all about your preference, how you want to aquascape your whole setup. If you want less is more, then go ahead and grab yourself a blonde naso tank at 150. But if you think you're going to need more live rock and you want a nice big setup for a reef tank, then I would recommend going 180 gallons and above. Big question we get with blonde naso tanks is are they reef safe and the answer is yes this is a perfect tank to put in a reef tank environment it's a great addition in my opinion diet they're mainly herbivores but they can eat prepared foods like mysis uh, it just kind of all depends at the end of the day on the tang you definitely want to make sure you're feeding those nori sheets one to two times a day minimum i've seen people say they try to feed nori sheets three times a week but with a blonde naso tang the bigger they get they're more they're going to want to start picking at your rock work they really want to be well fed and you're going to build up that immune system so if you do have a disease like it lurking around the body's natural immune system immune system can fight that up aggression it is a tang so i will put this generally at medium but from my personal experience having a blonde naso tang i have never seen a blonde naso tang aggressive as a matter of fact i've had a blue hippo in my tank before i have had tamini tang a yellow tang and it's never once uh picked a fight with the tangs as a matter of fact if any other tangs or any other fish cause fights this would be the one to break the whole fight up something to add to that too i would put the blonde naso as one of your first few fish either in your new or your established aquarium and the reason is if you get let's say a powder blue tang or a purple tang just a tang in general that's already established its territory as in its domain inside your aquarium that blonde naso could be bullied as it's put later on into your tank environment which can cause stress which could even honestly have ick pop up on the blonde naso and you definitely don't want to do that now while the blonde naso is a peaceful fish i would still put it as one of your first few just to be on the safe side water parameters you want your salinity to look at anywhere from 1.20 all the way to 1.026 72 to 78 for your temperature dkh 8 to 12 and your ph 8.1 to 8.4 lastly i have a blonde naso tank this is actually the blonde naso tank that i have in my aquarium as you can see in this picture and i will say this is one of the most personable and just really beautiful fish that I have ever seen. This has quickly become my favorite tang in the entire hobby. I can hand feed him nori sheets. He knows when it's feeding time coming up to the glass. I absolutely love this fish and I cannot recommend enough. If you ever wanted to get a tang before and you have the tank size, definitely get you a blonde naso tang. It is going to be completely worth every single dollar you spend. And in the long run, seeing those beautiful streamers swim back and forth across your tank 
it is completely worth it. But that's going to do it today on our All About series on the Blonde Naso Tang. Let us know in the comments down below what you guys thought of today's episode. And honestly, what other fish you would like to see as an All About series. We have a plethora to choose from here at Whitland Aquatics. So please let us know. Smash that like button and super kick the subscribe button. We're dropping videos every single Friday, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. And again, also, anything that you saw with the food, nori sheets, or even the blonde naso tang, if we have them in stock, it will be in the description with the link down below. Click on that. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And as always, we will see you in the next one.